people with cancer sometimes come with blood clots. So the question is why? And what will be the consequence of that? It turns out thrombosis is the activation of coagulation cascade in the blood and platelets. And that activation not only result in formation of clots, but in releasing a very important immune suppressive factor called TGF beta. Now in this particular story, we actually discovered the molecular switch. It's called thrombin. It turns out thrombin can cut protein. And this protein we're talking about is, is expressed on the platelets. So thrombin can cut this molecule that results in release of TGF beta. Can we turn it off? The answer is yes, because we have thrombin inhibitor. In fact, we demonstrated in this particular story that a commonly prescribed medication to inhibit thrombin to prevent blood clots can actually shut the system down. Now, there's more to it. After the TGF beta or this molecule is released from this switch, this mechanism, it actually inhibits our natural immune defense against cancer. So it's not a good thing. Then the question is, what happens when you switch it off? Could you actually improve our defense against cancer? The answer is yes. So we can take commonly used medication to inhibit thrombin, to therefore inhibit the release of TGA beta, to then therefore improve the function of the immune system. So it's a basic curiosity-driven research, but it has true uh, practical implications. We need to understand how immune system is turned on and off. In the case of cancer, of course, we want to turn the immune system on. And then our study showed the normal coagulation pathway and normal thrombosis pathway, like playlists, can actually contribute to regulating the immune system. This is an area that has not been appreciated significantly. So this research opens a new avenue to understand further how this is actually happening. Once we understand more in the condition of a variety of diseases such as cancer, autoimmune diseases, and so on, then we can turn the system on and off or refine the system to make the system stronger or weaker so that in the case of cancer, we can dial up the volume of the immune system to make the immune system stronger so that cancer will be eradicated. Before, we always treat those conditions as just platelet disorders. Our study showed that perhaps those patients will also have other immunological issues because now we know platelets actually regulate the immune system. So there is crosstalk between platelets and immunity. Therefore, we really have to do more research to understand how this relationship affects a variety of conditions, platelet disorder, disorder that, that it's, you know, uh, as a result of defective immune function. Here at the James, we are looking forward to taking advantage of the knowledge now we possess to actually improve current immunotherapeutics. For example, we have immune checkpoint blockade therapy to block some of the negative regulators such as PD-1 for the treatment of lung cancer. Now we can actually add this drug that I talked about to block thrombosis.